Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a quick little video about this light. I've had a few questions about it. Um, this is a aux beam, 12 inch spot flood combo light. Um, the reason I bought this light is because I already own one. I have a one that's a year or two old, same light on my ATV. I've been running it two years now. It still works. It still looks great. It still does everything. It's bright. And so I just bought the same light. It kind of made sense. And it fits great inside the inside the, the, the brush guard. It looks good. On the tabs of the brush guard, it fits right on there. The, the mounts on it are adjustable. So no matter where your holes are, these things will come in and out or do whatever, and then you lock them in place. And as you lock it in place, it also locks the, you know, the up and down of the light. So don't be too concerned about where your holes are because these are, these will adjust and then it just bolts right down. Um, the light doesn't come with a harness. You got to supply your own switch and harness. Um, I bought a complete harness. Um, basically I just had to plug it into the light and hook it to the battery it's super simple um, I did make one modification to the switch um, the switch is illuminated you can see the blue one here if you just run it to the battery then this little bottom blue light is going to be on all the time so the, the, the prong for this light itself I ran to the switch circuit and uh, yeah, that was really the only thing I modified. Just comes in through the firewall down, and then I had to take this the center console out to run the wires back to the battery, and then the one wire that comes up to the switch. I mean, it really is pretty simple. Um, it's bright. I mean, you just compare it to the headlights. The headlights are awfully yellow. Um, yeah, it's and I didn't realize how messed up the stock headlights were until I had my car sitting right here in front of it. And one was hitting the car here and the other side was kind of aiming. I mean, the, high, the headlights just aren't aiming. I'm sure they're adjustable, but they were way off. Um, but that, that's the basics of it. Um, this light is, is, I paid $26 for this light and I know there are better lights and I know there are brighter lights. And I'm telling you for 26 bucks, you cannot go wrong with this light you can get them off their website but i actually think they're more expensive i got this off of amazon i think it's 25.99 or something it's a fantastic light for the money and then you just you, you know i have to buy the harness separate i think the harness was about that 25 30 bucks um i don't know i haven't even taken it out in the dark yet so we will see as soon as the sun goes down outside we'll We'll take it outside and see what it does. Um, I haven't, haven't even really aimed it yet. I just, I took my level on it and pretty much set it at zero degrees. So it's just pretty much straight up and down. Um, if it's anything like my last one, it's got a really great spotlight. That's just a, a circle where the spot goes and then the flood comes out the side. It's, I don't know, but we'll see. Take it outside and see what it does. All right, hopefully the camera picks this up. Um, but there's the idea. There's a, all right, let's turn the lights off. It's getting pretty dark outside. Not quite a little light over in the horizon, but it's dark. Anyway, that's the, uh, the factory low beams, the headlights, and that's the, high, yeah, that's the high beam. Uh-huh. Yeah. So low beams. And then this is the light bar. I mean, you can see there's that that building out there that you just can't quite get with the headlights. It's got a little bit more reach. It's got a nice spot. Anyway, yeah, it's a pretty dang good light. I'm happy with it. It's got good light out to the sides and a good spot down the middle. Yeah, it's a good little light. 